Hi, I'm Nelson Davis, Technical Instructor for Motor Car Parts of America. Today we're taking a look at the master cylinder, which is an important part of your vehicle's braking system. The master cylinder should be bench bled before installation to remove air and help ensure a firm brake pedal with safe, optimum brake system performance. This method can be used with most master cylinders with attached or integrated reservoirs. Okay, so we're ready to bench bleed this brake master cylinder now. We've got it securely mounted in a vise. Notice we're clamping it to the mounting flange of the master cylinder, not the master cylinder center bore, which might cause damage to it. We want to use some clean, fresh brake fluid from a sealed container. We want to make sure the brake fluid is the correct brake fluid for the vehicle that we're working on. You can refer to the vehicle manufacturer service information to get this specification for the brake fluid. It's also located on the top of the master cylinder reservoir cap. Now, brake fluid, of course, is uh, corrosive. It can be damaging to vehicle paint. So you want to use some care. Safety glasses, gloves are always a real good idea. Have some rags handy. And we've got a drip pan to catch any excess fluid that might spill. So the first thing we want to do is to fill this master cylinder up about three quarters of the way full, again with uh, fresh brake fluid from a sealed container. And you'll notice that this one is uh, starting to drip a little bit. That's good. That's what we want. We want to see that fluid starting to flow and drip from these outlet ports. Depending on the master cylinder, that may take several minutes. We want to get this thing about three quarters full, like adequate brake fluid level during this bleeding procedure. We don't want the level to drop too low because that might actually cause air to be ingested into the system. So once that fluid starts flowing steadily out of that port, we're going to take a plastic block off plug and thread it into the master cylinder outlet port. Just snug it up good with a wrench. These are plastic so they won't damage the seats in the master cylinder bore. And then we also want to see that that fluid flows steadily from this front outlet port. So again, it may take a few minutes. Sometimes it helps to kind of get it started by just giving it a slight push on the piston. I like to use a, a nut driver, a small six millimeter quarter inch nut driver. It doesn't have a sharp tip, so it won't cause any damage to the master cylinder bore. There we go, it's starting to flow. Getting a pretty good drip. I'm holding the piston in. So now I will insert that other block off plug threading it into the port carefully. I'll release the piston here, give it a little bit of a snug with the wrench to make sure it's sealed. Now the next step, we're going to slowly and steadily push that piston in on this master cylinder. And it may take several tries, but eventually that piston is going to get very, very difficult to push in. It's going to take a lot of force and effort and strength to push it. You'll barely be able to move it eventually. What that means is you've forced all the air in this master cylinder bore back up through the compensating ports in the reservoir, which means you've got all the air out of the master cylinder. Another good tip is to take your uh, screwdriver or tool and just give it a few light taps on the bottom of the master cylinder bore. If there's any air that's trapped inside that master cylinder bore, it'll kind of force it back up. It'll dislodge it back up through the reservoir. And sometimes if you look carefully and closely, you'll even see little bubbles of air coming back up through the, the reservoir through the fluid. So that master cylinder now is bench bled and ready to be installed on the vehicle. We'll just leave these block off plugs in here until we get the master cylinder installed on the vehicle. We'll install the brake lines on the vehicle to the master cylinder after we remove those block off ports. Now keep in mind also that after the master cylinder is installed on the vehicle, we still may need to bleed the rest of the vehicle's brake system at the wheels. So again, refer to the vehicle manufacturer's service information to get the correct bleeding sequence and any special procedures or instructions for bleeding the vehicle's brake system. We hope this video helps you understand how to bleed most brake master cylinders. And if you should have any questions about master cylinders and how to bleed them, please call our toll-free technical support line at 1-800-228-9672, where we have ASC certified experts ready to assist you seven days a week. And thanks for watching.